Hey everybody, I was a bit busy last weekend, what with Christmas partying, which is kind of remarkable in that I don't even work for the Prime Minister, unless you include things like VAT or alcohol duty contributing to his spending pot. Although ironically I did go to university at Durham, so I have in fact visited Barnard Castle, albeit in my case it wasn't for an improvised eye test. Nonetheless, I'm probably going to take a couple more weeks off and return in the new year, but for now I'm going to leave you with a list of updated Christmas songs. Let's start with the classic I Saw Three Ships. That should really be, quote, I saw three ships come sailing by, three US ships murdered off Dubai, the F-16s began to fly to bomb Tehran in the morning. And a similarly military one could be Stop the Cavalry by Jonah Louie, which should really be rewritten to stop the procurement of F-35 fighters that don't seemingly work. Although it wouldn't really surprise me if the army was still in the process of ordering horse-drawn cavalry, or part of a project overrun from the 1920s that would probably incur too many costs to shut down at this late stage in the game. How about Do They Know It's Christmas by Band-Aid? You know, I'm vaguely surprised that one hasn't been appropriated by Carolyn Lucas because of the line quote, and there won't be snow in Africa this Christmas time. But take a look at Mount Kilimanjaro, there's snow all year round. Wombling Merry Christmas, another song with a vaguely environmental vibe. I'm quite surprised that the Wombles haven't made a resurgence in recent years. Although I did look them up on YouTube a while back for my kids, and to be honest, they're pretty ropey, and they've aged a bit as well as those other 1970s things like the Top of the Pops episodes where the likes of Slade and Wizard are doing a great Christmas show, but you're deeply aware that Jimmy Savile is dancing around in the background with young members of the audience. Driving home for Christmas. Well, sorry, Chris Rear, but that's probably breaking the law this year. And to the broader point, you've been trying to drive home for 33 years. I wonder if you've ever thought about re-releasing a sequel where he finally gets her and finds out that they've subsequently moved since the 80s. You know, rather than take the car, Elton John suggests stepping into Christmas. I actually ordered a couple of Elton John albums off of Amazon three months ago. But thanks to a driver shortage and supply issues, they still haven't shipped, quote, and I think it's going to be a long, long time. If you're wondering what Elton John's favourite beer is, it's Amstel standing, yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> Little Drummer Boy by David Bowie, that's a favourite of mine and it's quite a bizarre musical pairing, you know, David Bowie alongside Bing Crosby. It's a bit like if Russell Brand and Stephen Fry turned up for a podcast. Bing Crosby actually died a couple of weeks just after recording that song and I wonder what he thought of Bowie. Similarly, I wonder if Bowie only showed up because he thought a quote, White Christmas meant it was going to be some kind of debaucherous drug fueled event with Keith Richards. You know, Frank Sinatra knew what was going on, he sang Let It Snow, not Let It Blow or Let It Flow. I guess it's a real shame that Bowie never did anything with heroin fanatic Shane McGowan from the Pogues, who wrote Fairy Tale of New York, given that Bowie lived in New York at the time. You know, the fact that Richards and McGowan are both alive is actually quite astonishing, really. It makes you wonder if they've got a painting up in the attic like Dorian Gray or perhaps made a deal with the devil where they get to live until the day the DFS sale finally ends. Anyway, talk of such things i'm going to pour a glass of wine merry christmas to everyone and if you happen to be my postman i did get you a bottle of whiskey this year as a christmas tip but you're out at the time so i left it three miles down the road at a random address anyway see you in the new year let these click subscribe